Silence your breath and dissolve in the shadows. There we go. There we go. Now you guys should be able to hear me. Let me lower the music a little bit. I'm so sorry, guys, and then we'll get started. It's gonna be a Bonzo stream unless uh, it was a little raggedy. Okay, I think the audio is pretty balanced. I can always raise the music up louder if you guys like. Let me just scroll to the top here and say hi to everybody. Abby, again, thank you so much for the lurk. Hello, Onion. Hey, Koba, how are you? Dr. Hex Mikey, how's it going today? Gonna do lurks today? I appreciate it. What's up, Bloody Master? Hi, Onion. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys can hear me. Mom of Chaos, you're coming over for lunch today, I hope, right? We're making some sal salmon, salad, and tea. I'm gonna try to be a little healthy in the new year. Just a little bit. Again, guys, let me know if you need me to raise my volume, up the music volume, lower the music volume. I'm using, um, today's pretty much my normal setup. Um, I'm back on my laptop here streaming. You guys know I've switched over to PC for a little while now. And I have actually a new camera down here that's just for down here. So that is pretty uh, major as far as convenience when doing these cooking streams. Um, and... And I'm hoping to maybe get a microphone to keep down here, but this one was a pretty penny and I don't want to sacrifice for anything cheaper. So I might just keep transferring this one up and down with me. Of course you're starving. Good. I'm glad you're starving because I got plenty of food. I have a big piece of salmon that I'm going to be cooking today. I'm going to be baking it. The first thing I'm going to do is get the salmon onto a tray uh, of uh, foil and then I'm going to start making like the little marinade spread that I'm gonna put over it, cook it in. 
uh, or to cook on it. Uh, first, let me get the oven pre. I forgot to do that. I do bake, 350, star, make sure there's nothing in there. I'm forgetful sometimes. Okay. Now I need to put some foil on here. So for those of you that are in chat, how's everyone doing today? What are your plans for the weekend? Uh, this might hurt your ears. Let me mute the mic for a second. but you're willing to try it. Trust me, this uh, the salmon I make is really good. We put a lot of stuff on it to, to kind of mask that fishiness that uh, salmon has. So I think even you would like it, Mama of Chaos. I'm doing good uh, today, Onion. Having a pretty chill Saturday so far. Doing Splatfest and Splatoon. Nice. What's, um, what's the theme for the current Splatfest? I know last time you were telling me something with Pokemon. Is it still Pokemon or is it something different now? Now, normally I would have had the fish ready kind of on this tray, but I'm doing literally everything on the spot. I didn't prepare anything today for today's cooking stream, so you guys get to see it all. So let me get the salmon out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna get it out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna... Well, rinse it off in the sink probably, depending on how it looks. Now I'm gonna get it onto this tray. So, let me do that. Paste, spicy red, sweet, purple, and sour green. I would definitely be on team sour. Uh, you probably chose sweet. My guess is sweet onion. Did you do purple? So, nice filet, Costco salmon. I do like Costco salmon quite a bit, it is really good. I'm gonna rinse this bad boy off a little bit. Garbage right now. Give me just a second guys, and I'll be right back. This is kind of an odd time to be doing a cooking stream on a Saturday. I think most people are generally kind of busy on the weekends or at least during the day and then at night time I think is when people either stay in or go out and settle down and watch Twitch. So kind of an odd, odd time for me to be streaming. You would have done sour, but you can't do Splatfest. Get yourself a Switch and Splatoon, Mikey. But yeah, sour, I love sour. Sour flavors are some of my favorites. This is fish off really good. water off of there.
This is the stuff that I like to do before stream starts. I don't like, you know, having to be over the sink and then like washing my hands and all that stuff, you know. I like to try and stay more centered over there, but you know what? Just didn't, decided not to prep today. I see, um, I've seen another streamer who does cooking streams. His name is uh, Eat at Dad's, who has, I think he has his like phone up near his stove or some kind of tablet where he can read chat from both spots, which I think is really cool. You have both? You just have things to get done? Oh my gosh. I, I know what you mean, Mikey. Sometimes we don't have time for the things we want to do. Okay. So we got our big piece of salmon, which I'm actually just gonna leave right over here, and then we can get started with making the marinade. Which actually, I'm gonna need the outlet that's right here. So we're gonna leave the fish suspiciously close to my microphone and my laptop, but don't worry, no cross-contamination. Bonzo doesn't like washing his hands. I don't like washing my hands on camera. You gotta wash your hands. Got to, got to, got to. Hey, what's up Trashy, how's it going today? Are your muscles sore from moving that big PC? Okay, so putting stuff and things into this little mini food processor. Just plug in. Start preparing stuff we need. Stuff. So we're gonna be putting garlic and lemon juice. And a chile, chile and um, I'm gonna kind of wing it, maybe some parsley. I don't entirely, I have an idea of what I want to put in here, but I haven't made this in a while, so I'm gonna remember things as I need them, I think. You stay picking up heavy stuff at work, just don't like doing it. I feel you. I hope the rest of your stuff comes soon, Trashy. I'm really excited for you, especially if that's that pink keyboard. All right, I need some garlic. Quickly peel some of this over the sink. We love that saying. You can never have too much garlic, right? People love garlic. You think like 30, 40 years ago, people were like, oh my God, garlic this, garlic that. Or is it something that's just new in our generation? Yeah, no problem. What do you got going on today, Trashy? What are your plans? Same with the everyone else, you know, what's going on this weekend? How's uh, the New Year's resolutions going? I don't know about you guys, but the first couple weeks of January, I always really liked Except for when I was in school, because, you know, having to go back to school, college, whatever, that's always sucked. The first week or so of January, I always really liked because, you know, it was one of those times, every year, you know, I, I usually, I stay in, I don't do too much. Like, everything's just very, like, slow paced and relaxing. Especially at my job, you know. My job was most busy during the holidays, and January, it's completely dead. Um, and it's usually a good time to take a vacation, it's in January, February. And yeah, it's just, you know, everything, the holidays slow down, everything kind of calms down in my life. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, so I always really enjoy the first couple weeks of January. Bisanio. <laughs> Bisanio, you know, you don't like garlic. I, really? It makes you gag? Sei italiano? Are you Italian? I really like garlic. Ah, benvenuto. Parlo e capisco un piccolo di italiano. 
Non ti piace aglio? Triste. We like, we like garlic a lot. Uh, I'm, middle, I'm Middle Eastern. The Lebanese. We use a lot of garlic in our food. Okay, I think that's, we got all the little garlic pieces. So I always chop off the tops because it makes peeling them almost 20 times easier. That's a big piece of salmon. I know that's why we're using a whole bulb of garlic to spread it here. We're gonna be putting garlic, lemon juice, chile, salt, pepper, I think parsley, maybe a little bit of ginger. I don't know what, I don't know how I, exactly what I wanna put in here yet. Um, you're not doing anything today, just playing Skyrim? Yes, I love that. I was playing Elden Ring today, Trashy, and it was a lot of fun. That's a big piece of salmon, yeah. How do you know Italian? Um, I learned um, because uh, when I was in school, when I was in high school, I took Italian, and I ended up learning more of it for my old job. Um, I'm not gonna say what my job was, but I needed it for work. That's why I know a bit, you know, un piccolo, like only a little bit of Italian. I speak mostly Spanish these days. Spagnolo. Um, okay. Don't, does anyone else like look forward to January like I do? <laughs> the mob. <laughs> yeah, my job was to uh, my job. My job was to import uh, fresh San Marzano tomatoes from Italy, but secretly and get caught. Shady business, the tomato business. Bravissimo, grazie. Lonzo was a male escort <laughs> for the mob. Oh, sounds like my oven's done preheating. What a dream job. A male escort or a spy? I feel like I would just be a spy. International. James Bond type stuff. But the Italian version. When did you start it? Never got the alert from Twitter? Near, no, Discord. Discord should have worked. I think, I'm pretty sure I posted it in Discord. At least I, I hope I did. How dare you steal our San Marzano? Hey, it's the best pomodori in the world, okay? You, you gotta share. You gotta share with the rest of us. We want to make good sauce and, uh, and pizza too, you know? Okay. Mi piace vini italiani. Italiano. I really like Italian wine too. My favorite kind of wine is Amarone. Amarone della Vapolicella Ripasa. One of my favorite kinds of wine. It's also kind of expensive, or at least here in the United States, it's a, it's kind of a considered expensive wine. Okay, we have the garlic. Next, I think we want to do the chile. Torasco! Hey, what's up? How you doing? Thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate it. Welcome in. You don't even have enough for you guys, come on, man. Okay, okay, fine. We'll stop taking the San Marzano and we'll uh, get into importing more Italian wines. Which, sorry, uh, it's okay, Sykes. What are you gonna cook for us? So we're gonna, we're making um, the marinade, put on the salmon, then we're gonna bake the salmon, then we're gonna make salad and some tea, and we're gonna be really painfully healthy, what we're doing today. So I need, I need this chile, yeah. oh, you know what, oh, 
parsley. We're going to mint the parsley. Montepulciano. Yes. I do like Montepulciano also. These chiles are old. Oh no. Yeah, my aunt gave me these. I, I'm starting to realize why she had given me these. It's okay, we can salvage some of them. Some of them look okay. Monte, Montepulciano di Abruzzo. Di Abruzzo. I really, I do like that one too. Um, I really like uh, Corvina as well. And Sangiovese. Sangiovese is used in many wines. What else do I really like? Kind of thing. I think those are my fa those are my favorites. I'm sure you guys are like screaming, watching me use a knife, but don't worry. I promise, I'm safe for now. Two, or one chile. I'm gonna put maybe four total in here. Ending, I mean, some of these look really bad. I might not be able to salvage much more than what I have here. Uh, Corey, what's up Corey? Chan, how are you doing today? You want some salmon? Come on over, there's plenty. You actually like salmon, Corey. What's your favorite way to eat it? And that feels a little soft. This one looks okay. And this one looks okay. What kind of chile? Um, this is called Finger, finger, long, hot chile. I, I don't know. Yo no sé qué tipo de chile que es eso. I, I don't know. You're from Abruzzo. Oh, that's wonderful. I bet it's beautiful there. I really would love to visit Italy. I was supposed to back in 2020, but the pandemic, you know? What part of the US are you from? I'm from um, the east side. In a state called Michigan. Eastern part. We have a lot of uh, Italian people in my state, actually. There's a lot of uh, Italian and Sicilian influence. In the form of salmon patties is great. Ooh, that sounds good. Salmon patties. I think you would mix that with like egg and breadcrumbs. And and just eat it like with a fork. You put sauce on it, you eat it on like a burger. I don't know. Okay. We have chile. I feel like I'm forgetting an ingredient in here, but I, I cannot remember what it is exactly. But I like it, just bake healthier that way. Yeah, that's kind of what we're going for today. We're going for like a healthier kind of dish. dish. Okay, so... I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley in here, but I need to wash this parsley first. I always wash my fruits and vegetables. I know some people don't, they think you don't need to, or they just don't want to, but I wash everything. Actually, I gotta wash all of the vegetables for the salad, so it'll be good. Some, something good to do in, in between time. 
even though usually I have all of this stuff prepared already. Like I'm like a total broken record today about that. I use a lot of parsley in salad, in tabbouleh, tabbouleh, if you know what that is. I love parsley. You think that's chile mirasol? And that's when it dries into guajillo. Maybe Sykes, because these chiles are a little bit smaller. I don't think I don't think those were guajillo chiles, personally. Cayenne pepper. It might have been might have been similar to cayenne. You know about Michigan? That's where the pawn shop TV show is filmed. It is. It is. I remember that show. Um, I live kind of close to where that was. That pawn shop is. Many Italians in New York and New Jersey didn't know about Michigan. Yeah, we have a pretty decent sized population. Many, many, uh, throughout many generations though, I mean, sometimes you will still find like Italian, Italian people, but mostly nowadays it's like Italian American, you know? Don't really like parsley either. Are you sure, are you sure say Italiano? <laughs> Do you at least like tomatoes and mozzarella? the parsley here you love those okay good 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 Sykes yeah so Sykes Vas a jugar Fortnite hoy? Um, this, this año, do you play um, any video games? Video jockey? Do you like to game? Watching your men doing stuff. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> You want to play for Nido tonight? Okay. Yeah, a lot of this is a lot of parsley. I don't, I don't think I usually put this much, but we want it to be flavorful. Parsley. Next, we're gonna need some lemon juice. Debating if I should do one or two lemons, I think one should be fine. We want this to be more pasty and not be too watery. You used to, not anymore. Need some big salmon. Had to stop because you were getting addicted. Oh, that's. I mean, I could see why, but you know what? So a quick marinade. Yes, yes, onion. Um. 
But you could you could be into worse things, you know. Like video games is like for me, it's a healthy habit. It's not going out and drinking or doing drugs, partying, you know, stuff like that. Video games is like. I think considered like a healthier habit. Some of the other stuff people do on weekends, you know? Come on, eh? I really like, I really like a lot of lemon. Squirting so much lemon juice. Debating if I should put more. few community members that are really into League of Legends and then um, and then I play a little bit of Overwatch I'm not that good at it but we have a lot of uh, Overwatch players in my community as well okay you want black pepper salt put a little sumac on there that's about it I'm just gonna put this right in the mixture. Hey, what's up, Hood? How you doing? Yes, making some food today. So mac will help uh, make the fish a little bit more citrusy, and then salt and pepper. Yeah, it's just salt and pepper. Wrong side. How you doing today, Hood? What do you got going on? Pepper, salt. I might add more lemon juice, we'll see. Let me mute the mic. I think that's okay. I can always add more lemon juice if I want to. Okay, so... Next part is getting this all over the salmon. Looks like Christmas in here. Red, white, and green. touch any of those games anymore because they literally make you rage in seconds oh my gosh one of my friends is kind of like that they're like a they used to be a sweat on those games Just chilling debating on streaming later kind of taking it easy the day off yeah do whatever do whatever speaks to you hood you know whatever sounds like will bring you the most pleasure you know Gaming, so you know, I do as much as I love streaming my gaming. Gaming off stream is also very, very relaxing for me. I game, I do game quite a bit off stream because it's just so much more easygoing. Why does this look brown? What is in here? Okay, now 
I'm gonna rinse, put these in the sink. And start spreading this around on the salmon. Seriously, why does this look brown? It's kind of weird. Perhaps I should have done more lemon, limone. Being competitive sucks. Yeah, I I've never really been too big of a competitive gamer, but the only game I was ever really competitive in was Super Smash Bros. That's it. I was good at that game, man. I would shake sometimes playing that game. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. This marinade is good for a lot of things. You can put this on chicken, lamb, but it's especially good on fish for sure. Okay, I think that's good. How's that look, guys? We got Christmas salmon. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna pop this into the oven. Arabian, but born in the U.S., right? Are you polyglot? Um, yes and no. My knowledge of language varies greatly, um, but I do have experience with Arabic, French, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, Japanese, English, obviously. I mostly I mostly focus on those those seven languages. Uh, okay, oven time for this, and it is 427. We're gonna go for like 20, 25 minutes on that. I actually, I want the salmon to be cooked a little bit more well done because I'm gonna be repurposing it for some sushi, I think. But we'll see. We shall see. Okay, next we're gonna get to working on prepping some of the vegetables and drying them. Washing and drying them and then we'll assemble the salad. Alrighty. So, I need the thing on this table back here. My native language is English. Growing up in the US, it's just, you know, we speak Arabic, Lebanese Arabic at home. But you know, it'd be different if I grew up in Lebanon versus growing up in the US. Okay, I'll put that towel there. Take some water. This parsley. Hey, Richie, how's it going? What are you up to today? Okay. Got our parsley in here. We can dry it. Dump this. Um, 
got me thinking now. I know these two, these two Italian guys that do streaming. I think they make Instagram videos and they do streaming on Twitch. Their names are Lionsfield, Lionsfeld, something like that. They're pretty cool guys. They do kind of like an Italian, Eng like, uh, I, I think their, their focus is like Italian people and then like English speaking people, which is pretty cool. Enjoying your weekend, cleaning right now, just tackled your aquarium. Well, nothing fun. Okay, wait. What kind, what do you got in your aquarium, Richie? What kind of aquatic pets do you have? It's kinda of cool. Do you have any shrimp in there that I can cook and eat? <laughs> By any chance? I don't really follow them, but you know who they are. Yeah, I watch them so-so, you know? Okay. That's a tomato here. And cucumber. This is, like I said, guys, this is like the part of the stream I don't really do on camera. Bud, you're here for the full thing today. No cutting corners. It's a freshwater tank. No shrimp, just some tetras, guppies, goldfish. Train them to fight. Become a water Pokemon trainer. Okay, we have lettuce. Lettuce. You're a water slash ghost type Pokemon trainer. Interesting sight. I was oh, okay. I would definitely be a water Pokemon trainer. Probably ice, and then probably dark ghost and psychic. Because those are my favorite kinds of Pokemon. I would say. I would definitely have an Alakazam. I think Alakazam is one of my favorite Pokemon. I don't know if I should put all of this in here. Yeah, let's just do it. Won't get super dry, but it'll be dry enough.
Um, disinfectant for the vegetables, no. I usually just use water. You can put like a little vinegar and water spray on these, but with stuff like lettuce and parsley, it'll make them wilt. I just use water to clean them and it works out pretty good. You know, they taste okay. I always like putting um, like meat or hummus in here. You fold it up and eat it. It's so good. I'm a, I'm a rabbit. Okay. We don't need that anymore. I kind of want them to be spread out a little bit more surface area so they can dry okay. Letting these dry really good or putting them in the refrigerator is what helps keep them fresh much longer. There's like two like two to three foods that I usually, well, okay. I'm gonna say like five. Five things that I always have in my refrigerator, in my house, in my kitchen, is lemons, tomatoes, parsley, mint, and cucumbers. Those five things. Whenever I start going, getting low on those, I usually go to the grocery store to get more, like right away. I use them in salads, I use them for snacks, I use them for sandwiches, like almost on a daily basis. I eat these things. Looks so lush, doesn't it? It was really fresh. Pretty good about buying like something only if it looks good, you know? Perair, si, sí, perair. In Italian, prezza. Prezza molo? No, I don't remember. Hey, uh, Besanio, you're still in here. How do you say uh, parsley in Italian? Si, prezza molo? Prezza molo, okay, that's what I thought. Thank you, grazie. In Arabic, bakdunis. Doing this, but yeah, parsley, parsley and mint, two things I always have. Um, I like making tea actually. I make, I, I might make tea out of the parsley today actually. I haven't decided what kind of tea I'm gonna make yet, but might be uh, from the parsley and some of the mint that I have. Ginger. Looking pretty good. Okay. With um, with stuff like this, you gotta wash them separately. Anything that's like an herb or like leafy greens, but like more solid stuff like this, you can Silent usually wash them all in one bowl. Dissolve in the shadows. Girls, girl, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. Silent till breath. Dissolve in the shadows. Um, with all kinds of herbs, yes. Um, one, so we make something called yansun, which is really good. I think that's made from thyme. Um, and then uh, yerba mate. Yerba mate is really popular in Lebanon. Makes me sad your hello fresh. Your hello fresh didn't arrive today. What a crime. That is not fair, ghost girl. Not fair at all. Well, uh, come to my house and we can get you some food.
Again, normally I'm like doing this all over there, but I want to be front and center in the camera with you guys. Tomatoes. Tomato. Saffron tea, which sounds so good, but also so expensive. So I think saffron is mostly used in uh, Persia, or like Persian cuisine or Iran. I think they use, they make per, uh, saffron rice and saffron tea, which I've actually never tried. I've never tried it before. I know, you know, it's funny because I grew up in the U.S. There's a lot of things that I know about, but may not have experienced or tried. Fortunately. Cucumbers. I love cucumbers. My delivery driver is lazy and said that my door was not accessible, so I am now going to be petty and make a TikTok about how large and clear my porch is. <laughs> Yo, send the TikTok. I want to see it. That's annoying. That, that, I could see how that would frustrate you. Where I live is like kind of hard to find for delivery drivers. I very rarely have anything delivered here. Um, but when I do, I almost 90% of the time will get a phone call be like, hey, I can't find your address or I can't find your door. So I just left. I'm like, oh my God, why? Why does you do that? Why does that happen? have all of our verduras clean. Have you ever made cucumber into noodles, Bonzo? Um, no, I haven't. I'm trying to think of cucumber noodles. So is it like a salad or how, how do you make it, onion? Or how have you had them before? You will, thank you. Good, 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 good. Let's see the TikTok. Bonzo kind of sells cleaning those. Hey, you know what? Nature shaped these like this for a reason. The reason, well, I'll leave that to your imagination. No. Okay. Now we can make this salad. Ensalata. Let's move this. In piccolo. Well, I just need one thing. I'm gonna put some olives in here too. Pergino. So I was kind of debating making this into like, like, a, like a cucumber tomato salad, but I have all of this fresh stuff out here, so we're just gonna do a little of everything. Oh, Mikey, did that go off? Did sound alerts actually work this time or no? Cool. What's up, Abby? How's it going? <laughs> he was mad. The office was closed, so he just didn't want to stop by your door, which is behind the mailboxes. God. It didn't? It didn't? That's not fair, man. What is it? Sound alerts being a huge dick for no reason? Sandler just stays mad at me. I don't know why. There we go. Holy shit. That's one big dick boy right there, chat. Insalata. Insalata mista. It didn't. Thank you, Andy. I meant to message you about that. OBS has been having issues with sound alerts on alternate screens. That's what I've always had issues with, Abby, and I don't know why. 
Oh god. What was that? Like, I'm not always ready. What was that? Mwah. There's your kiss. Oh my god, we're getting raided. Intervention, intervention. The cooking class four. What's up? How are you doing today? Thank you so much for the raid. We're just in the middle of making a salad here. How was your stream? Tell us about it. What were you making today? Let's actually, while my hands are still fairly clean, let's get a shout out for cooking class. See what we got here. My value somewhere else other than just being like I love your I kitchen. Don't hold you hostage to these ads unless you pay me sucker. Pay me sucker. Um all right, burger time. Yeah. Sadly, I can't hear the audio. How about Big stretch. Big stretch. My laptop's so far across the damn counter. What are we cooking? What are we making? What do we make today? Oh, you redeem stretch. I don't know if I can stretch without showing my whole stomach. We'll do it. Ah, okay, there we go. Good enough, right? We good? We did it? It was patty melt and frisco melt today on CCP. Okay, very cool. What's on the menu here? What's up Celtic, how are you doing today? Celtic Bushido, like the name. Uh, so we got the salmon in the oven right now. We, we have a big slab of uh, salmon from Costco that we're baking. And then we're making a little bit of like a Mediterranean style salad here. And we're gonna finish off with some tea. And that's about it. That's all we got going today. We're trying to be, New Year's healthy, which is super boring, but you know what? I've actually been craving some fish, so I'm really excited to eat this. Okay, let's see. So I did much less clean food than you, but <laughs> the good old greasy spoon gimmick. I made a patty melt with caramelized onions and frisco melt with sauce. And fresh cut fries, that sounds delicious. Okay, so I know what a patty melt is, but what's a, a frisco melt? That, I have, I have no idea what that is. You went way the other way out. I mean, my last cooking stream was me making like fried tacos. So we do a little of both. Mostly the fried taco side of things, I would say. That sounds delicious. Uh, are you mostly a cooking streamer on Twitch? Do you make any other kind of content? And Celtic, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. People always, I drive people crazy with the way I use a knife, so just go with it, okay? I promise maybe to not cut myself. We'll see what happens. Welcome to the water tribe. Hey, Bisanio, molto grazie, amico. Thank you so much for the follow. Do a little bit more lettuce on here, I think. Oh, no worries, Bisanyo, no worries. Which is your launch point? Just started a little over two months ago. Brilliant. How have you been liking it so far? So. I am mostly, I think mostly I do gaming content, but for the last maybe four to five months, I've been more, more so in the kitchen doing cooking streams and I absolutely love it. It's been such a wonderful time. You cook so calm and clean, like you cook so damn messy. I mean... I might be putting on a little bit of a show for you guys, but it's certainly not always prim and proper in here. I can't say that much. Tomato, tomato.
And a professional cooks a chef on an offer 20 plus years, so you know your food stuff. Just shaky on the tech stuff so far. I've been on Twitch for about a year now, and I'm still shaky on the tech stuff. The tech stuff is so difficult for me and can be very frustrating for me as well. Hey, what's up, Yunanosa? How are you, Habibi? Shukran, muchas gracias for the vidis. I appreciate it. Um, the tech stuff, geez, what do, I don't even really know how to give advice on that because it's like... Just look on YouTube, find any kind of source of information you can on how to do things and hopefully it helps you. But good luck. Oh my goodness. Silence your breath. Dissolve hey, thank shadows. you for the lurk. Dissolve in the shadow. More cooking, less gaming. That's what we want on Twitch. You know what? I'll be honest. Some of my, some of the most follows or viewer counts I get are from cooking streams sometimes. So, maybe we'll, this will turn into, com completely into a cooking stream. You never know. Okay. For my new friends in chat, what do you guys think about ASMR? As far as like food ASMR specifically, not just like regular ASMR. Sometimes I have a, a noise suppression on my microphone. Sometimes I get requests for like, let's hear the crunch of that cucumber. Let's let's hear you like mix the mixing of the dough, you know, stuff like that. What do you guys think about ASMR? Because I could start turning off my noise suppression on my microphone while I'm in the kitchen. My Habibi forever. Ente Habibti Albi. Thank you so much, Orki. Orki de ass. Sizzle ASMR is fantastic. Sizzle ASMR. Good to know. You know what? Also, I've been meaning to do. Maybe you probably have the same idea, um, cooking class guy, uh, is to get a, get a freaking uh, stove camera. I want to get a second camera for my stove and then maybe another camera for like, like pointing downwards so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing on the cutting board. But big, big maybe on that, big maybe. You'd love that too. Okay, okay, good to know. I love that. Uh, this is a good kind of feedback. Oh my god, Richie. <laughs> I forgot that I did that. I just recently made new bit redeems. There's something for 69, yes, I know. There's something for 350, and then there's something for if you cheer over 900. I just started working with this. I, I haven't mentioned that though, Richie. I'm so, that was very, very coincidence that you did that. <laughs> you have a dedicated mic right by the burner, just for the sizzle ASMR. Can't have, you could. You claim to have the best sizzle on Twitch. Hey, that's a good claim to fame, I'd say. Um, okay, so... My favorite part is doing the parsley and the mint. Because parsley and mint... For me, it's like, that's... Can't have a salad without both of these. You can. But it wouldn't be a bonzo salad. Oh, you were lurking in yesterday's stream. That's how, okay. Okay, okay, I love that. Corsica79, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I was, I was doing a bit, uh, Swiffing with two other streamers yesterday, which I haven't done in a while, and that was pretty fun. So for my, uh, new friends here on Twitch, when I, when I do gaming content, I mostly play a game called Dead by Daylight, which is like a horror survival game that has like multiplayer matchmaking. So it's a game where there's four survivors and one killer. And you gotta survive and escape, otherwise you die. Pretty fun. Makes for, it's pretty, it can be pretty exciting content on Twitch. And very frustrating too. Reil con taquitos. Mmm, taquitos. You played DVD, Bisanio? Uh, that's kind of what launched my my Twitch career, I would say. So I absolutely love it. Oh, um, by the way, 
uh, cooking. You know what? I want to do this right now so I don't forget. Where are you here? There we go. I'm gonna drop you a follow, guys. Go give uh, cooking class a follow as well if you haven't already. Alrighty. Let's get some mint. Love fresh mint. I always, like I said, I usually always have fresh mint in my kitchen. Uh, I, yes, we got the resonance back, Sykes. We got the resonance back. I finally, finally figured out how to fix some of my uh, my sound alerts, like my sound commands, rather, more specifically. Um, but I have a part. I, I work uh, part time on the side. Uh, Richie, answer that question. Used to be a killer main, eventually quit the game because I was tired of getting insulted every time in the after game chat. Yeah, unfortunately the community can be pretty toxic. And you know what? I've noticed it's the P those PC players, some of the ones on PC are just so awful. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, yeah. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. A little bit longer for the salmon. I almost forgot about it. I know you don't play DVD on there. We know, we know. Okay, just a little bit more mint here. <laughs> Yay, ooh. Good for the mint. Okay, I'm gonna have to bunch this up, chop it up pretty fine. I don't know why, but this motion kind of hurts my wrist. Toxic community. Even League has a better community. So I've, you know, I've definitely had some toxicity. No, I've I've seen a decent amount of toxicity, especially as a streamer. People love going for streamers, but I've seen worse. Like when I used to play games like Halo, or even I've heard of some some of the things that would happen on Call of Duty. Or I used to play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. That's where I experienced so much toxicity in gaming. It's usually in like those competitive shooter games, I feel like. So for me, some of the stuff that I see on DVD is like, wow, I've seen worse or I've dealt with a lot more harassment than that. Those games, those games to me, that's, those are the toxic ones. Here. Oh, we can't have a salad without a little bit of fresh grated garlic. Hey, Dr. Wood, how's it going today? Um, Daniel, I have a love-hate relationship with that game. Mostly hate. Yeah, I got, I got a, I got a pretty big asshole in the end game chat on stream yesterday, guys. That was not fun. Hey, Richie, thank you so much for the three months. I really appreciate that. Overwatch is your jam, cooking class. Overwatch is pretty bad. Oh my goodness. 
Guys, did, did, a, did, a, did a little alert go off, Richie, for the, for the subscription? Can you please let me know? It should have been uh, Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins. Let me know if that went off or not, guys. Um, let's see here. Literally to the point where you're getting insulted in every game. A visual alert went off. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. I just, I j literally just made those yesterday, guys. So I'm like really hoping that they're working out well. Um, everyone seems to be the best player with the best knowledge. Oh my goodness. How DBD. That's how some survivor teammates can be sometimes, Bizanio. Overwatch is hella fun, but not everything is for everyone. Yes, very true. Aceite or vinagreta? Um, I'm gonna put, um, so Sykes asked what kind of dressing. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, oil and vinegar, probably salt and pepper. And I need to grate some garlic on here first. I love grated garlic on fresh salad. Nowhere near as bad as DVD. I haven't gotten, you know, I mostly get my my experience. Everyone has different experiences, right? I uh, I mostly get like GGs from Overwatch. Like like pretty nice, like good games. I've seen so I've seen uh, I've gotten some toxicity, but I also don't play a whole lot of Overwatch, so I, I don't know. I don't know. I can really only speak for Dead by Daylight and Rainbow Six Siege. <sighs> because, man. <laughs> those, those are the ones I have the most experience with. Oh my god! Tu esposo es aquí cocinando por ti, cobaya. Como estas cobaya? Bienvenidos. Sykes, be nice. Sykes, be nice. Don't be, don't be celoso. Don't be jealous. How are you today, Kobaya? Okay, got the garlic. Fresh garlic. It doesn't want to go where I want it to go. There. Beautiful. So I think I can uh, pull out the salmon now. Let's see here. Overwatch is mostly chill, even at higher rings. I can mostly agree with that. <laughs> Wrong tag, but still high. <laughs> Alright guys, let me pull out that salmon, see how it looks. Looking mighty fine. Not bad. How's that look, guys? Look pretty good? I bet it's gonna taste really good. I'm gonna put this on the stove, let it cool down while I finish making the rest of this uh, salad here. Okie dokie. I'm gonna throw some of this stuff in the sink. some olives on here as well. Here, uh, lechuga parlante. <laughs> Cobaya. <laughs> okay, olives. <laughs> this whole personality, this whole personality is simp. <laughs> Looks huge, yeah, it's a lot of salmon. Give me some of that, please, you're hungry. I got you. Exporting to Italia. Ginger? Hey. Right here. I'm 
think we'll do just four of these. Me gusta hacer té de jengibre. I like to make ginger tea. put something else on here but it might be too hard to mix if I continue to put more stuff on here maybe a little bit of carrots I think I'm gonna put some carrots on um, Saitunas? yes Yeah, I use I use um, a lot of gin. I make uh, tea out of this um, quite often, so I use a lot of it. As a normal Italian, I can understand Spanish but cannot speak it. Yeah, most of my see, I <sighs> the more that I speak and use Spanish, the more that I lose my Italian. So sometimes when I try to speak Spanish or when I'm trying to speak Italian, I have to like remember not to combine the two languages. Um, but sometimes I do anyways, it's just the way my brain works. Carrots. Carrots. Um, Bisanio, how did you learn English? When did you start? And I think, uh, I think a lot of Spanish speakers can understand Italian pretty well too, usually. Hey, what's up, Tavis? He's whipping in the kitchen. Yes, I am. We're doing kitchen things today. How's your stream? I was lurking in there for a little bit before, as I was getting ready for uh, for my stream here. You learn English through video games. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Video jockey. I used to play. Uh... So what helped? What helps my Spanish and Italian is playing video games with people speaking Spanish and Italian. And I used to play uh, Gears of War with this group of Italian guys and all the time they were speaking in Italian so I learned a lot of video game like video game lingo as to how to like speak Italian which I thought was kind of cool what's up poison you're excited to see that salmon I just showed it I'm actually I'm almost done we're almost done here we're almost ready to do the to show you the salmon again I'll show it right after I finish cutting this carrot. I'll show it one more time. Lots of colors. You want to see lots of colors in your food, guys. That's how you know it's healthy. Okay. You can see the salad here. So this is lettuce, garlic, Parsley, mint, tomato, or sorry, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, and carrots. Looks really good, right? We'll put dressing on that. 
And then again, I'll show you the salmon. I wanted to cook this. I cooked this a little bit more on the well done side. But on top of it, we have garlic, chile, lemon, parsley, salt, pepper, and sumac. That's gonna taste really good. I'm really excited to eat this. Um, someday you'll have your own TV show of talking, of cooking. <laughs> Maybe one day, Kobaya. Well, if I have my own TV show, will you come on my TV show? Please say yes. Years of War was a huge thing here like 10 years ago. By the way, that's exactly how you learn English. Oh, Ge Gears of War? By playing Gears of War? You want that salmon? I'm really so ready to eat it. Okay, let's uh, start putting some stuff on here. Olive oil and then the fruit as well, vanilla, and a bit of salt, black pepper. And sumac, if you ever had fatouche salad, fatouche salad, we always put sumac in there. Which I like a lot. Okay, and then succo di limone, or jugo de limon. Lemon juice. vinegar just a little bit remix yes the sumac let's go so crazy king how you doing how are you Ahlen. hey fablewick how you doing i'm scared when the rachel ray is happening fablewick is this your first time seeing my cooking streams i've been doing them uh, for a little while now um, you know how to cook some stuff. What's your favorite thing to cook, Kobaya? Um, playing with English people while being in calls, that's how you learn your English. It's far from perfect. Hey, you know, it's good enough though. Playing with people online is it's the best way to learn because you learn how like reg normal people talk, you know? And you can learn a lot of slang, a lot of sayings. I've learned so many things in Spanish that a normal person probably shouldn't learn when learning Spanish, you know? Mis amigos de Mexico talking to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I might grab a glove and just mix this with my hand. What was and where did the stuff you have in the food processor with the lime juice? It's on the salmon. It's in the pescado. Mostly league and Overwatch, not gears. Oh, I see, I see. Those tomatoes, the banadura is really shiny. Just wash them. Very fresh, very fresh produce. So this is why this is why I love I love Twitch. I love my chat because I know that I have. I have Spanish speakers in my chat. I have Italian speakers in my chat. I have Arabic speakers in my chat. And possibly people who know other languages, you know? It's brilliant. And I'm happy that I'm able to at least use these languages in some way, shape or form. Because in here, where I live in the US, you know, I don't get to always share my knowledge of, of language with people. But on Twitch, I have so much opportunity to do that. 
after you watch Ratatouille once. Yeah, this is your first. Well, welcome, Fableweed. Thank you for visiting. Okay. I think we mix this as best as we can. Taste it. Mmm. Tastes really good. Chicken rice, verificado, mm -hmm. sounds good. Oh, I got it. Yeah, you do. Hey, Edmund, what's up? Certamente carissimo en un piacere, piacere de conocerte. You definitely caught up on learning new words. Yes, 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 yes. We can all learn from each other here. Absolutely. Okay. We are done. Let me put some of this stuff away, grab a piece of salmon, and then we can just eat and hang out for a little bit. Be really quick. Have you guys had any, I mean, is anyone else here trying to eat like, or have healthier meals What with the uh, new year? Does anyone even care? Does anyone even care anymore? Throw away these stems. Okay, we have our insalata. Croutons? No croutons, Sykes. No croutons. I guess I could, like, uh... Have, like, one of these little fancy plates. Not because I bought these, but because... You know, I have, I have sisters and a mother who just love buying things for me, so I have this little plate here. So... We will try to, we'll put it on this plate. Can you use this? Butter knife. Butter. There we go. One piece of salmon. And I just tasted the, the top part. It tastes so good. I'm gonna be using our hands a little bit, guys. Don't be scared. Promise, normal practice. Oh my God, it's all falling all over. I regret not using a bigger plate. Okay. This was kind of a fail. A kitchen fail. Mukbang, please. Ensalata mista de salmone. Do you like croutons? Eh, not really, Sykes. Used to care when I used to do workout. Now that I quit, not as much. Yeah, I, mean, I go through phases. Sometimes I care, sometimes I don't. If you like, not if you have. I just, I noticed, or uh, Sykes, I saw, I saw. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it like this. We're not really here for presentation much anyways. Call me strange, you guys. But I'm gonna eat this with chopsticks. I love I love eating with chopsticks. 
Oh, you know what? Okay, before before we eat this, actually, we're gonna put on uh, the tea. Um. Quite now, this will stretch as far as I would like it. Too short, unfortunately. But all right. Okay. To show my respect to you for getting serious and holding back, I wish. Question is, what kind of tea will we be making? So I could make hibiscus tea. Now how about how about this? How about this? I could make Elian, thank you so much for the eight months. Holy crap, I'm so sorry I missed it. Chopsticks, why? Because I'll eat slower, kind of. Kind of slower. Um, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, everyone. Panic! Please, guys, go check out Hellion's channel. Or another streamer as well. And National Play Outside Day. That shouldn't be a national day. Happy National Tempura Day as well. Okay, guys. I can make red tea. I can make blue tea. I can make yellow tea, or I can make green tea. Holy shit. That's one big dick boy right there, chat. Idiot with a fat ass. Welcome. How are you doing today? Did you figure out those emulators? Yes, I did. Let me make a poll in chat. I'm gonna make a poll for this, guys. Vote. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, go ahead and vote, guys. Purple tea. Purple tea is an option, actually. The blue one sometimes turns purple. Stuff everywhere. Glad you guys can't see over here. Not pretty. Going to sleep now. Have a good stream, buddy. Thank you so much, Hellion. Thank you so much. Take care. I think blue is winning. Yes, actually. Uh, with a... I, I, like, do I call you idiot? Do I call you fat? Do I call you ass? I, I don't know what to call you sometimes. It's like blue tea is gonna win. Uh-oh, no red team might win. Is it gonna be a tie? If it's a tie, I'll do both. Blue tea it is. And yes, it is the butterfly blue flower tea. You go by Izzy. Okay, Izzy. I'll do my best to remember that. supposed to happen. We have these beautiful blue butterfly flowers here. Put them in there. And we're gonna take the spilt ones. Put them in there as well. It makes tea blue. Dried blue flowers. Pretty simple. might actually turn out purple. Uh, sorry. 
Anyone that's really hoping for blue tea. Let it rip. Itadakimasu. Means thanks for the food. Hope that doesn't blow up next to me. Your son stole your water. No hydration for you. You know what? Be dehydrated. Sometimes you get a little woozy, a little dizzy. It can be fun. Being dehydrated is like being drunk. You add acid, like lemon juice or vinegar. So yes, when you add lemon juice, it will turn purple. But if it's concentrated enough, it will also turn purple. I actually, funny enough, onion, onion night blue. I tried making some blue onions using this stuff. I tried making pickled blue onions, but when I added the vinegar, it turned purple. I was gonna be like, look onion, I made blue onions, but then they turned it out, they turned out to be purple. <laughs> so I never showed you them. Buen provecho, gracias. Gracias. He burns his tea somehow. Double boiling to make it more strong and flavorful and tasty. Obviously Advent. So fuck it, why not? <laughs> That's the spirit mama of chaos. Buon appetito, grazie. Grazie mille. You wish your kitchen was as nice? I remodeled this whole kitchen. It was a big process. Very frustrating process, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome. Salmon? Mm. This is so good, you guys. It's not fishy at all. Ninja grunt? Thanks, are you on your phone? Hey, Bisanio. You need to use a fork for your fingers. As long as it gets into your mouth, you're good. Oh, you went in on your day off because it's busy? That's really nice of you, Advent. Well, at least you're home now. Ready to enjoy the rest of the weekend. How blue that is, guys. That's blue tea. I used to have days like that too, Advan. Especially during the holidays. I love getting a piece of salmon and a piece of the salad, eating them together. Hmm. 
The vaccine this whole time was tea. If only they knew it was that simple. So much drama. When all they needed to do was make some tea. Sanzio, get some pesce. Get some pesce. Come over. <laughs> Abby, I will definitely take you up on that. Thank you so much. Because that has been baffling me for a while now. So if you have a solution, I'm definitely interested to hear it. I also have another question that I might ask you as well. We'll have to hang out later and play some DVD. It's almost midnight there. Yeah, that's right. In Europa. Hmm. How long have we been live? Almost two hours. Man, forget about that Silent time difference sometimes. Dissolve in the shadows. Because of water, you got it, poison. Richie, thank you so much for hanging out today. I greatly appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day and weekend, okay? Thank you for the alert, Abby. Silence your breath. Abby, do follow it. In the shadows. That's my voice, by the way, guys. I love Cashman. Let's go! I'm in with the four months. God, I love I love Escanor. Follow it. Abby has been following for 10 months, 24 days, and 14 hours. Aw, uh, thanks for shouting out Onion, Vina Nasa. Almost a year, Abby, almost a year. Eskinor is the GOAT. Wait, actually... The what sin of pride? What animal is Eskinor? I don't remember. Is it- it's not a- is it the GOAT? Wait, no. It's, um, the lion sin of pride. That is Eskinor. Eskinor's a lion. What better than to be a sin of pride? Alright guys? I appreciate your friendship too, Abby. And always being here. Rego, welcome back. So you found me yesterday doing nonsense in Dead by Daylight. But I'm also secretly a cooking streamer. I got you, Abby. Take it easy. No, I, I know I know what the goat means, Vinonosa. I love that. I love Deanne too. There's this one episode where Deanne uses a move with her Gideon, her giant hammer, and she says, Mother Earth Catastrophe, and then slams the hammer onto the earth, and everything just starts falling apart. It is so cool. I love that episode. He's very powerful, very interesting character. Meliodas is whatever. That's the Rosta gang. Hmm. Esther Rosta gets his ass kicked by Escanor. And I love that. I absolutely love everything about that. He spent half the day baking. Rego, what did you make? Sykes. 
Oh my god, a wild CJ appeared. What's up, CJ? How's it going? Welcome back to the kitchen. CJ, is it... Mm, is it the morning for you right now? What time is it in your country? Also, have you played any more uh, Project Playtime? Um, like, Dysis was telling me that they updated the beta a little bit. It's time. Oh, okay. How much is the night time for you? End up making some. Biklewi Bakleva for some cousins, and you made a couple batches of some Fakasha for some friends. My poor hands can't take any more punishment. Making Bakleva or Biklewi is very like working with filo dough, it's time consuming and tedious. Which means like good for you, good for you for making that. Um, Rego, I have a Discord. If you ever want to post like food pictures in discord or just be a part of it type exclamation point discord and join it i'd love to see your final product thank you cj yeah check it out um i was talking egg dices was telling me about it but i haven't tried it myself so i don't know how if it's much better or not. Mm. Fish turned out really good. I'm really happy with it. In a few days, maybe by Monday or Tuesday, if I don't get through all of that salmon, we'll do a sushi stream. I'll repurpose the salmon and make sushi out of it. That'll be the next cooking stream. Grace, thank you so much for the lurks. I hope you're doing well. Sushi is your favorite. You're coming over, Yadala. Means. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Which means hurry up, come over. Um, what's your favorite kind of sushi, CJ? Mine is uh, raw salmon. Do you like sushi as well, Hood? In a few days, I will be another cycle around the sun older. Well, someone's got a birthday coming up. Do you have any plans for it? Are you gonna celebrate? It's hit or miss. Crab or raw salmon? A tea turned black. It's just really constant. So this might actually be purple. Let's, uh, let's pour it. Can use a clear glass. It looks so dark on camera, but it is, it is like a very deep blue color right now.
Your workmates are planning on doing a happy 44 years birthday. They don't know my age and can't tell. <laughs> That's a good thing, Edvin. That's definitely a good thing. Well, I hope it, whatever happens, I hope it's fun. I hope you have a good time. Hmm. Okay, so. Next week. Next week. I've been really wanting to plan a Paper Mario Thousand Year Door stream. I think I'm going to start that sometime next week. I have it on my GameCube. I have it hooked up and set up and ready to go. And I really, really, really want to stream Paper Mario Thousand Year Door with you guys. It'll be kind of like a, like a cozy, casual, chill stream. I might get hype reading some of the dialogue. It's a lot of text or reading in the game. And I might skip over it. I might do like voices and read everything. I might do a little of, of both of those things. So pretty excited to play that game with you guys. One of my favorites from my childhood. I've been really itching to play it lately, but like I can't possibly play this game without streaming it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Really, really excited. My GameCube. Put this plate in the sink. Still pretty good. That's a good meal. Um, and not too much to clean up. It has a really light flavor, but it does taste really good. Okay. We're about two hours in now, guys. Two hours in. Now we're on to the tea, the tea segment. Just finish your sushi, yum. What kind of sushi did you have, Admin? I want some sushi. Um. What was I gonna say? So, we baked salmon, right? Health benefit. Salmon has, is high in protein, but also pretty high in fat, but they're healthy fats, right? And we baked it in pretty much some herbs and spices and lemon juice. We didn't put any olive oil on it. Salmon is a really good source of vitamin D, which usually you get vitamin D from the sun. So if you pair foods like parsley, which is high in calcium, and foods like salmon that are high in vitamin D, your body absorbs calcium more efficiently when you have enough vitamin D present in your body. And that's why it's really good to pair things like parsley and salmon, because you'll get uh, all of the benefits from the calcium uh, from the parsley, which is really good for your bones, right? You know, people think you need to only drink milk for your bones, but parsley and other types of herbs and greens are so high in calcium, those are the good ones. Those are the ones that are good for you. Cra crab and shrimp. This is a smart man. Sometimes it happens, yeah, sometimes. Um, and, okay. And then on the vegetables, right? I had, I had lettuce, parsley, mint, tomatoes, cucumbers, garlic. Um, and I, I put olive oil on it, right? Olive oil is really good for any source of fat, really. You want to pair with any kind of vegetables because it helps, the presence of a fat helps, uh, helps our bodies absorb those minerals and nutrients more efficiently than just eating the vegetables raw without any source of fat. That's why it's really good to put olive oil on your salads or vegetables. What if you don't eat parsley? There's other sources of calcium um, in plants, right? So I know uh, chickpeas or garbanzo beans are a good source of calcium and other kinds of leafy greens. That I don't know them all off the top of my head, but you can definitely get calcium, other things other than uh, pretzemolmo. 
Vitamin D is also fat soluble, good to know. That's probably why it's so good in the salmon, because the salmon has a lot of natural fat, right? So, vitamin D, fat, soluble, absorbed, good for you. Um, we had tomatoes. Tomatoes are high in something called lycopene. Um, they say lycopene can reduce your chances of getting prostate cancer. So, they, uh, if you're worried about getting prostate cancer, get more lycopene or tomatoes into your diet. Cucumbers. Cucumbers are awesome. They're not really, they're not super nutrient dense, but they have a pretty nice mineral content. Uh, cucumbers, let's say you have really bad breath, like you just ate some stinky fish. You're like, oh my gosh, I need to get my breath clean. I'm going to see... Uh, a girl or a guy or somebody, I'm going on a date. You can eat a few slices of cucumber or even just take a piece and rub it around your mouth and eat it, swallow it, whatever, and you can actually freshen your breath with cucumbers. Um, also, these are really good for hydration too. Just eat. Lettuce. Lettuce isn't like the super nutrient dense vegetable either, but it has, it's a really good source of vitamin K. Um, and you know what? It's better than eating something with no nutrients in it, but you'll find stuff like spinach or parsley or kale is a little bit more nutrient dense. Just regular lettuce. The lettuce is still really good for you. Um, here in Abruzzo, we eat a lot of chickpeas, so you should be fine. Yes, you, I think you're going to be more than fine eating the chickpeas. Um, what else do we have? We had garlic, which is antimicrobial. Garlic, we know, is good for us. We don't, we don't really need to talk about garlic. Okay, and that's about it. That's all I got. That's all the information I have. Alrighty guys, I think that's going to conclude today's stream. I, we're going to raid out and see who is online right now. I'll have to put all this stuff away and clean up, but that's not really my favorite kind of content to put out there on Twitch. So, take a look here. You only come for the increase in knowledge. Get your notebook out. Isanzio, it was great meeting you, Piacere. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Uh, next stream to look forward to is probably gonna be some sushi. So, can look forward to that. Let's take a look on Twitch. Let's see who's live. Hmm. I don't think I have any other cooking streamers live right now. Ah, but our friend Kobaya is live. Ghosty boy. I think we might go visit Kobaya's stream. Let me let me see what he's doing. He's playing Fortnite. Yes. Let's go say hi to Kobaya. Thanks for the stream. Of course, Onion, anytime. Of course, Bloody, thank you so much. You know what guys? Let's Maybe I should look up another food and drink streamer for today. Or, you know what? Well, now let's, let's, I'm, I don't want, it's hard to find new people to raid sometimes. Let's do Kobaya. Hey, Supportive, how are you? Were you here earlier, Koba, or Supportive? I think I saw you in chat. Let's get the raid started. Invalid username. Try that again. Keep saying invalid username. What am I doing wrong here? This one's on daddy. This one's on daddy. Ectices. Hi, Ectices. 
was in a sweaty DVD match. Hope you have a great weekend. Join Discord. Wonderful Rego, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend too. Ectises, we're just getting out of here, but I will be hanging out for a little bit in Discord after stream if anybody would like to stop by. Um, and let me, let me try, I can't, I'm trying to raid out and it's saying no. Let's try that again. Okay, I think it worked this time. Okay guys, let's go show some love to Kobaya. And I will see you guys in the next, next stream is gonna be gaming and then the stream after that will probably be cooking. We'll see, we'll see how frequently I can get on, get on Twitch uh, this coming week, okay? Alrighty guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye.